Let's let's learn to fly, shall we? And I saw a mumbo token down there, but you know what? I don't care right now. This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bar guys. Simple enough for you, bird brain. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Hmm, your energy is... Yeah, I know, I don't care, bottles, go away. Nice going. You've learned all the code's new moves. Yes, yes I have, and I fell, and I didn't want to do that, because the camera angle confused me. Well, since I'm down here, might as well grab that mumbo token. Shh, oh, and I fell in another hole. I am an expert at this game. Can't you tell? By my constant falling around. Skills, people. I have them. Anyway. Now, let's just finally get to one of the best parts of this game, and that is flying. Yes. To fly higher, you'll need some red feathers. Press A to use one. But remember that Breaky, Biggie can only carry 50 of them. Indeed. I'm going to ignore that I said that. This be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. Okay, that's disturbing. You couldn't see my happy dance. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. I think not. Ow. That shouldn't have hurt, but it did. Whatever. We need to get back into the air as soon as possible. Right now. There we go. I hear a Jingo. Oh, that's right, there's one on top of the mast. I completely forgot about him. It's a good thing he whistles. But look, another Jingo. So hopelessly trapped up on top of this thing. It's not like it can fly. Oh, Jingos. They're so pathetic. And yet they're so adorable, so I don't really mind it too much. I've always liked flying in games, and this is a very good flight mode. If I have to, if I do say so myself, I think this is a very good mode. Better than the way Mario 64 handled flying, I guess. Then again, I think that was supposed to be kind of difficult. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. Well, okay. It's not much of a clue, it's more of an arrow pointing me where to go, but... Apparently, a treasure chest telepathically just told me it's uh, where it is, so let's do that. I haven't really been saying anything, really, of any substance this entire episode. I'm just kind of saying what I'm doing as I do it. Not the most entertaining I am. I apologize. I'll try to do better. Either way, we're doing some flying. I wonder how much this... I wonder how much Banjo weighs. How physically possible is this? I want to know. Well, whatever. Very good. We've got... I think it's only one more? Nope. Two more to hit. Hey, look, an island. I'm sure that means nothing. Shark Food Island? Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing there. We're going to completely ignore that because there's nothing there. Give me more feathers. I have gold to find. Hurry along. Flying around. Kind of spazzing out. Yeah, I keep hiccuping. Uh, there. What is this? Ha! Ah, you'll never find me now. Indeed. Ah, that's getting annoying. Either way, clearly we'll never be able to find this fool. And that hurt? Why did that hurt? Get out of my way, crab. Ow. Jerk. Hate you. Give me your gold. Yikes. Please open me gently. Never! That, that seemed gentle. Murdering sentient treasure chests for money. That's how Banjo and Kazooie roll. Yes. Now, if I can remember where all the other stuff is. Well, I, I do know of one place we can go, and that's probably good enough. Wait a second. I know where we need to go. Can't believe I forgot about this one. That was very foolish of me. I could have just jumped over here, but that would have made sense. Alright. What's up, yeah? Me, Leaky. No good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble? Well, I don't have a pebble, but I do have an egg. I have two eggs. There we go. Leaky patched up now. Empty water for bear. And bird. Kazooie kind of helped. Oh, what is this? Some form of secret code chamber. Interesting. Grab the notes, and we're on our way. 
What is in here? What is this business? I demand to know. Hey, Furball. You're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Okay. Well, I see letters on the floor, and I see our names written on this ancient castle for some reason, even though we've never been here before. So, uh, I'm going to say we're probably going to have to type in our name. And that is exactly what we're going to do. I always had trouble finding J, but it's in the corner. The way it's positioned, it kind of looks like an I. Now, where is a K? There it is. Spelling. Grammar. Banjo-Kazooie. They just fit so well. Now, where's a Z? There it is. Kazoo. I've always wondered why her name is Kazooie and not just Kazoo. We'll never know. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh. I. E. There we go. And I kill you, because you're a jerk and I hate you. You've won your prize, but first I'll cut you down. I said, blah, 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 you're dead now. Give me your money. And that's H. Jiggies. We're on our way. And I know where the last two are, so it's all good, but I don't want to forget the notes. That would be embarrassing. Give me all the monies. At least I assume that's what notes are. They were in nuts and bolts for some reason. Anyway. We need a flight pad, and we need one now. Kazooie! Away! Very good. I have nothing to say, I'm just listening to the funny noise. So adorable. Okay. Now we could just go up a staircase, but why would we when we could do this? Which is much more fun. Let's see. There's a Jingo somewhere around here. Gotta find him. Where, oh, where is the little Jingo fool? No, seriously, where is he? Oh, there he is. Hiding from me. Ah, I don't want to fall. That would have been bad. And all the Jingos are saved. So adorable. Ah, I don't know. Despite this game's... Silly humor and sometimes very questionable innuendo. I still find it to be a very, very cute game. Perhaps that's just me, though. I like cute things. It's how I am. And if you don't like it, well, you're just going to have to get out. Now, aren't you? Do a flip as we uh, get some slowdown for some reason. That's a little weird. Okay. Whoa. Um, are there any notes? I saw some over here. Do I need them? Yes. Okay. I don't want to not get some notes, people. These are very important. Very good. Very good. I do believe over here we will find a witch switch. Oh, that is correct. Cannon blast! I wonder how a jiggy got in there. Once again, uh, one of the world's greatest mysteries. We'll never know. Mumbo token. And we've got the monies. Hmm. That's a problem. We seem to be missing eight of them. That's not good. But we do all have all the we do have all the jiggies, and I suppose that's pretty good. And I hurt myself. Huh. Well, it appears I have to go in the search for some uh Musical notes. I have a few hunches on where they can be. Let us go see if I'm correct. Okay, well, here's one. That's a start. Now, where to where would I be hiding a bunch of notes? They can't be too far. There really aren't a lot of places to hide them. Hum, hum, ho, hum. Now we've been over here. There's nothing here. Well... How about I cut to where I find them? I'll see you guys in a second. Found an extra life. That's pretty cool. But still no notes. Ah, here's some. Okay. Well, that's good, but we're still missing three. So another cut. Aha! There they are. Man, that took a while. Eesh. 
I did laps across this entire beach trying to find these things. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thank you, Mickey Alice. Much appreciated. Ah, there. Now we have finally finished up, I believe. Hang on, let me check. Yep, that's everything. 27 minutes, too. Uh, let's see, counting all the stuff in Gruntilda's lair. I don't know, maybe this video will end up getting spl split into two parts or something. We'll see. We've still got a bit of stuff left to do. Grunty's magic stuff. Yeah, I know that already. Why are you telling me this again? Shut up, Mickey Oddles. I know this already. Go away. Stop talking. Thank you. Ah, before we leave, though, Treasure Trove Cove. World 2, better than Mumbo's Mountain. A bit, uh, a bit sluggy in other places, but, you know, this is a pretty good, that's a very good level. I like it. Very good atmosphere and some of the best music in the game. Not my favorite track in this game. I'll tell you what that is later. But, all in all, a very good level. I liked it. Even if I did get lost for a little while there. Nom nom nom. Them jiggies must be delicious. Anyway, we've still got, ooh, I think about two things left to do before we uh, wrap this thing up. Yeah, okay. Now, if you uh, if you notice, we could very easily actually go through that door and skip World 3 altogether, but what kind of LP would this be if I was trying to skip everything? That would be lame and boring and stupid, and who would do that? Anyway, here's the shock jump pad that we can now use, and a new painting. Or a puzzle, as it were. If you want to place all your pieces into the box, just press C. Wish you'd taught me that before. Because you can't actually do that until he tells you you can. Which is stupid. Ah, Klenka's Cavern. Now this... This is where things really start to pick up, if I do say so myself. It's a very fun level. I'm looking forward to playing through that for you guys. However, we've got one little bitty less thing to do before I forget, because this is totally something I would forget. And it would probably end up being annoying later. Ah! Monkey thing, gorilla. Ah! Okay, he's dead. And another cauldron. You've activated a magic cauldron! Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. 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 Thank you. Yes. As you notice, those are not the same two color as we've already done, so we have not created a shortcut. We've just began two completely separate ones. Kind of lame, but whatever. Now all we gotta do is wander on over here and hit this switch. But you can't really see because of the camera. Hang on. There it is. Hit that switch. Awesome. There we go. Hop across these little pipey, grady things. I'm not really sure what they are. In fact, I'm not entirely sure what this entire room even is, or how it functions in Gruntilda's lair, but let us not bring that up now. I hope you guys had a fun time. Maybe this was two parts, maybe it was one. I'm not sure yet. Either way, I hope you had fun. I'm the next few trades, and I will see you next time for... Clanker's Cavern. See you then.